Good morning, Jags. I'm Cadet Major Elena Garcia with the Port St. Lucie High School Jaguar Battalion. Can you please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Jaguars. I'm so excited to officially welcome you to the new school year. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Ms. Talese, your school principal. I'm super excited about the year ahead, and I know that together we're going to do great things here at Port St. Lucie High School. I've spoken to several groups of students over the summer to get feedback on ways that we can make the school better, and I'm working to implement the many suggestions that we were given. My first priority is to ensure that we have a safe and caring environment in which every student can learn and grow as they work toward earning their high school diploma and entering into the career and or college of their dreams. In order to do this, we have to start by revising school policy and procedure and we'll be implementing them with consistency. As you already know, the school dress code has been revised to allow for certain freedoms that were not in previous dress codes. I do want you to be able to express yourselves and stay on trend, so we are allowing Crocs, slides, sandals, hats, head wraps, leggings, and sweatpants. And we've also made adjustments to the length requirements of pants, shorts, and skirts to an appropriate length of mid-thigh. However, we will be strictly enforcing the requirement for shirts to cover your midsection. And for those of you that need clarification, that means that they have to completely cover your stomach. Thank you in advance for complying with the dress code requirements. Once we get to 99% compliance for two weeks straight, we will have our first themed dress day as a PBS reward. I'm also looking forward to bringing back all of the fun events that many of you missed out on over the last several years due to COVID restrictions. To begin with, as I mentioned, our primary focus is on maintaining a safe and caring campus. In order to do that, we are planning a reward for making it through a full month of school without any fights or major campus disruptions. Once we make it through a month free of fights and disruptions, we will host a large reward event. A survey will be sent out to students to vote on the nature of that reward, be it a dance, a pep rally, an in-school athletic event, etc. I believe in rewarding students for good behavior and for recognizing the positive things that are happening in our student body. The truth is that I need your help. It takes the efforts of the entire student body working together to make this a great school. Our faculty PBS team will be working with student government to plan additional incentives for students who work hard and achieve academic success in their classes. Our goal is to keep every single student graduation ready by maintaining a 2.0 GPA which means a see or better in all of their classes. It will take effort on, the part, on your part and the support of your teachers, but I believe in your ability and know that we can do it. Our school theme this year is to rise to the challenge. Rise to be the very best student you can be by working hard and turning in all of your assignments. Rise to be the very best human being that you can be by treating everyone around you with respect and kindness. Rise up to be a well-rounded student by participating in the arts or one of the many career and technical programs that we offer. I hope that you all have a great week. Welcome to JTV News. My name is Manol. And I'm Taylor. The band is doing a fundraiser to collect money for the band. They are selling coupons which you can use all year round. The book is $20 each. Approach any band student to order. If you need more information, go to room 816. Let's go to the weather and see what's happening today. Hi Ethan, how's the weather looking today? Looks like it's going to be one of those days where you may need your umbrella. We're looking at a 74 to 91 degrees with 60% chance of rain. Thank you for tuning in to JTV News and we'll see you next time.